back with another video. Um, I'm filming upstairs. Um, so if you do hear noise, it's the cars because where I'm filming, I'm filming from my window so I can get the natural light in. And for me to hold my iPod, oh, my iPod, my iPad up, I have to open the window slightly and insert it in between the window so it can hold because I don't have an iPod, iPad stand tripod to hold it up. So, sorry for the background noise. I will try to talk. I will try to talk when cars aren't going past. And yeah. So today I'm going to be doing the invade my privacy tag. Invade my privacy. What do you guys, how do you guys pronounce it? Is it privacy or privacy? Privacy. 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 But yeah, my eyebrows are looking really vicious. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing the invade my privacy tag, and um, I like I like people knowing my business. Sometimes, sometimes I do. I'm a very open person, so I don't mind doing this tag for y'all, you know. And no, I never woke up cranky. Um, it's just not me. I'm not an angry person, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I, I do. Don't get me wrong. When I'm when I am upset, even though you're not meant to, I do get to bed up um, angry. Not angry, but I do go to bed upset. But um, I never wake up angry, which is weird because people are like, you should never go to bed angry. I don't know why they say that. Why do people say that? Do you know why people say I never go to bed angry? But yeah, I, I do sometimes get a bit angry or upset, but I never wake up angry or upset. I'm always thankful for my mornings that Jesus has blessed me with, you know? So. <laughs> um, I'm 21. Oh no, I'm not even. I'm not even 21, I'm actually 22. I just turned 22 like a month ago, literally a month ago. So, would I date an 18 year old? Um, no, I wouldn't. I can't date a guy who's younger than me, sadly. That's, that's not in my portion. That's not my portion. That's actually not my portion. I can't. I don't know why. I just feel like in a relationship, like, like the male should always be older than the woman. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel. So, no, I can't date an 18 year old. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um,. Well, I can't really say because I actually don't have any boyfriends, so I have to say girls. I haven't really had, like, any much trouble with girls in my life. Obviously, you know, as you grow up, you do lose... Yeah. Sorry. As you grow up, you do lose friends and all that kind of stuff. You do fall out. But, um, yeah. I, why not? Like, why not? You know, you don't know that smile you could make someone's day. So, you know. Oh, my gosh. Um, I don't, okay, the thing with me is commitment, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not saying because, as in, I would cheat, sorry, I don't say, I don't mean like, I don't know, because I would go and cheat or anything like that, but it's just because, I've never had a boyfriend anyway, so, but when it comes to like, doing activities and stuff like sticking to one hobby i can't do that and i don't know if that that's just the way how my brain is i can't function on one thing only i have to be d functioning on everything like loads of things at one time i'm a very multitasking person i would say but at the same time i'm not a very multitasking person at the same time because i change my mind very like you know quickly but i can't say if i can commit to one person, but I do hope that I can commit to one person. <laughs> I'm just here looking like a cheater. I'm looking very basic, ain't got no makeup on, like I always do in all of my, most of my videos, never wear makeup. Um, my hair, just put on my hair, you know, my, my gorgeous purple hair. Every summer I go purple. Every, oh my gosh. Every summer I go purple, because purple is my colour. It's my favourite colour in the world when I was younger. I wanted to um, have everything purple, so purple husband, purple kids, I wanted to be purple, have a purple house, have a purple car, so yeah, I'm just a purple wig, I'm wearing a grey tunic, kind of like, it's nothing special, so. but I'm still looking gorgeous, so I need to not even try and come for me, because I still look gorgeous, even though I'm looking very basic, okay? <laughs> 
you guys on Snapchat, you should like listen to music every day, every day, every day. Music is life, music is bay. I have to listen to music every day or my day will just not go right. You know, I listen to all types of genres. Um, you know, Bashment is my favourite genre. So is gospel. Gospel and Bashment are my favourite genres. So is um early, early R and B music. Don't show my favourite genres. But yeah, I have to listen to I have to listen to music every day, it's compulsory, even if it's just one song. And I don't wear both, I don't wear none, the only thing that I ever wear in my life is leggings. Even when I'm going to the gym, leggings. So, um, I don't wear none. Is that it? And my answer is... Yes, I hope, I hope, I mean, it's not, it's not even that I hope, it will change dramatically, like, everything. It will change dramatically, you know, by God's grace. It will change dramatically for a good reason and not a bad reason. And I just hope for the best for myself, you know. So, <laughs> very social person with antisocial tendency. Sorry, I'm putting my brush. But I'm a very antisocial. I'm a very social person with some antisocial tendencies. Like, depending on where I am, the environment. Like, if I do go. I go places a lot by myself, so you know when you go out by yourself, you're not gonna be loud, are you? Like, you're gonna be quiet. But like when I do go parties alone, I can be quiet. I, I just have to feel the fire before you know, like my true self can come out. You know, I have to know the fire, the energy, what I'm, what I'm receiving, so I can know what to give back. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm a social, very, very social person with antisocial tendencies. Let's get that correct, okay? If I'm honest with you, I don't know what I would say. Um, have I been? In, I have been in that position before, actually. And um, I cried, like I cried in front of them, and I cried in front of the person that they liked as well. And um, yeah, <laughs> um, but because of the person that I am, I'm a very open person. I do tend to show. I'm not sure, but I do tell, tend to voice out my feelings, if that makes sense. So I'm very good at hiding it if I want to hide it, but because I'm a very open person, I can force out my feelings and tell you how I'm feeling, you know? Yes, I can, but I don't have a driving license, but I've been like, I've been taking lessons for like the past four years of my life because this, this is where the commitment issues come in. I can't, not commitment issues, but I can't be alone with a guy. I have, I, when I'm alone with a guy, I get um, anxiety and I just have to like, I have to be, I have to quickly get out of that environment that I'm in if I'm alone with a person. All my driving instructors were male, so well, I had one week female, but she, she got, got into an incident where she crashed the car and then she never got back to me, so yeah, but all my driving instructors have been males and yeah, that's one reason as to why. That's the one. That's the one reason as to why I haven't been able to get my full driving license. But I do know how to move a car, start a car, stop a car, all that kind of stuff. But I just have to, you know, do the lessons and take the tests and all that kind of stuff. So no, not really. I've gotten out of that phase for a very long time. Like for probably like since I was eleven, because of the fame that I gained at a very young age. Um, people also because I'm fat. So people always talk bad about me anyway, so it's just um, a thing where I had to adapt to just getting used to it and be like, okay, because I've heard everything, anything bad you can say about a fat person, anything bad you can say about me, I've heard it already, so if people have to say it to me again, it's like, okay, have you got something new to say or are you just going to repeat the same thing, you know? My cry was probably just about two weeks ago when... My friend's boyfriend died of cancer, very sad time. Yeah, when I found out that he died, I cried, so, yeah. Yes, I have, and it didn't end up well, so, whatever. whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it didn't end up well. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where you like someone, yeah, and when you don't like them, like, everything ugly about them comes out? Like, it's just like, why does that happen? That's really bad because that that's like a facade. Like it's like there's a shield. When you like them, you don't see all the ugliness. You just see everything good about them. And then when you don't like them no more, it's like that 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 shield comes off, and it's like wow, you are really ugly. I'm not talking about looks, looks. I'm talking about personality-wise as well. Like you're really ugly. Like 
and looks as well like you're really ugly like what the hell did i see in you you know I like my eyes as they are you know god made me like this for a reason because god knew these eyes these eyes were gonna be gorgeous for me okay these eyes were specifically made for this beauty okay yeah i'm not doing nothing tomorrow i'm just gonna be a bum and clean the house so but yes this is the end of the video guys and i hope that you guys have but yes, this is the end of the video, guys. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And I shall see y'all in my next video, okay? So, deuces!